1938, Canadian band leader Guy Lombardo and his orchestra record Ride, Tenderfoot Ride, the last one for Victor Records. 1948, this song by Nat King Cole, it's called Nature Boy, goes to number one. 1953, Quintet of the Year jazz concert takes place at Massey Hall with Charlie Parker, Dizzy Gillespie, Bud Powell, Charles Mingus, and Max Roach. 1963, Peter, Paul, and Mary win their first Grammy with this song, If I Had a Hammer. 1968, Wonderwall with George Harrison premieres at Cannes Film Festival. The soundtrack was composed by George Harrison. The film provides the name for the Oasis track, Wonderwall. 1971, Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young scored their second U.S. number one album with Four Way Street. 1975, Fleetwood Mac play their first concert with new members, Lindsey Buckingham and Stevie Nicks. 1982, Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney at number one with this song, Ebony and Ivory. 1994, Blur scores their first U.K. number one album with Park Life. 1995, Supergrass releases their debut solo album and features this song, All Right. 2002, the Wu-Tang name generator goes online. The app turns your real name into one suited for the rap collective. Jessica Jack ends up being Tormentor Tame. 2006 dubstep artist Burial releases his self-titled debut album. 2008, Neil Diamond reaches the top of the U.S. Billboard album chart for the first time in his career with Home Before Dark. It's his 29th studio album. 